How do you answer your telephone? As crazy as that sounds, how do you answer your phone? Let me just ask you that. Do you, you know, is your cell phone, is that your business phone, your personal phone, you know, your your everything phone? It's the phone your girlfriend or your spouse calls you on. It's the phone that you get 72 robo calls on. And after you've been out doing mulch or landscaping for about six hours and the phone rings, you don't recognize the number and you think it's robo call time. How do you answer the phone or do you answer it? Do you just let it go to voicemail? You know, there's a lot of different schools of thoughts on that. And uh, quite honestly, when I was in the field, you know, well, when when I was in the field, cell phones weren't, weren't like they are now. And then King Darren and some of the older guys out here, Steve Cohen, uh, some of you guys listen, I'm sure, probably remember the old brick phones. But I remember the first cell phone we had in one of our trucks actually had something on it that was <laughs> – this is, I'm telling my age a little bit, guys, here. It had something that was called a horn alert. So when you were outside of the job, you know, you're out there doing Miss Smith's mulching or hedge trimming or whatever you're doing, when the phone would ring because it wasn't something that you had carried around in your pocket, it was mounted in your truck, the horn would start honking. So you'd hear honk, 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 hecabus. If you're listening, buddy, shoot me a text. Let me know if you're old enough to remember that or not. But, you know, and, man, it was the coolest thing. But looking back on it, it it was crazy, I'm sure, when somebody would see you get up and make a mad dash back to the truck to answer answer your phone like that. But, oh, that that just, that just, that, that took me down memory lane right there talking about how do you answer your phone. But that horn alert was a, was something else that, that we didn't use that horn alert after very long i mean it just got to where it was a little bit annoying quite honestly but getting back to the point is how do you answer your phone do you answer your phone professionally do you use a clear and concise voice and i know you're thinking wayne this is stupid i can't believe you're spending time on turf up radio talking about answering your telephone Hey, how many people have you called that when they answer, you really have no idea what they say? It's, hello, everybody's lawn service. Can I help you? And you're like, what the hell? Who did I get a hold of? Because you guys know people don't listen anyway, right? Think of yourself when somebody answers the phone when you call somewhere. Or it's just amazing. Keep it clear and concise. Hey, pick up the phone. This is Wayne's Lawn Service. This is Wayne. Can I help you? Or maybe you use a good afternoon. This is Wayne. Can I help you? You know, regardless of what you use, we're not getting all into all that today. But the point is, we got to keep it clear and concise and answer it as a business phone. Because you never know who's on the other end. I mean, it could be a robo dial. Now, you know if they're in your phone, you know, if they're in your contact list, you know who's on the other end. But if it's not on that contact list, maybe you don't answer it, maybe you do answer it. But regardless, answer the phone professionally if you're going to answer it. And something else we got to think about is if we're not going to answer the phone and we're going to let it go to our voicemail, What does your voicemail sound like? Is it clear and concise? 